Alhamdulillah, we have finally started our Ikra Cartoon Urdu channel recently. If you're interested, check out the description box below to find the links for those new channels. The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. For the Muslims' brave action, all the non-Muslims started to run away. The 50 archers who were in charge of shooting the arrows were still on the mountain. And from the top, they also thought that the battle was over. Then they became greedy to collect the items from the battlefield which the enemy left over. Shaitan convinced them to leave their place and convinced them that their job was done. Then they made the biggest mistake in history. They forgot Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's order and left their place. Out of the 50 archers, only around 10 Muslims were left with their leader, Abdullah ibn Zubair, peace be upon him. When the bad Khalid saw most of the archers were leaving from their position, his group went around the mountain and attacked the remaining 10 archers and killed them. Then the group of horsemen attacked the Muslims from behind. After seeing that, the bad soldiers got their strength and turned back to fight with the Muslims. At that point, the Muslims were surrounded by the bad soldiers. All of the sudden, the Muslims started losing the battle. Many great Muslims were getting killed. Many of the Muslim soldiers did not know what to do. Some of them started to run away from the battlefield to save their life. Some of them could not recognize their own Muslim brothers and started to kill each other. At that point, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam only had two options. One was to run away from the battlefield to save his own life. And the second option was to stay in the battlefield and try to save as many Muslims as possible. The great prophet chose the second option. He risked his own life and tried saving the Muslim lives. When the bad Quraysh saw him, they got the chance to kill the prophet and destroy Islam permanently. At that extreme moment, only about nine sahabas were near the Prophet and tried to protect him from the bad Quraysh. Many of them got killed trying to protect the Prophet. All of a sudden, someone threw a rock at the Prophet and he fell over. His lower right teeth was broken and his lower lip was cut. The enemy continued to attack him. The fight between the two groups continued with each other, and one of the bad guys even stabbed the prophet's shoulder, which was so bad that he had an extreme pain for a month. Alhamdulillah, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy, because the prophet was wearing two armors, his life was saved. During this time, the Prophet's helmet broke and came off, so he had nothing to protect his head. In that bad situation, Talha, peace be upon him, did a very good job and protected the Prophet with his life. Just by himself, he was fighting against many of the bad people. To protect the Prophet, 
He used his own hands and body as a shield from the arrows and swords which cut his body very badly. Abu Bakr, Umar and Ali, peace be upon them all, came in a hurry and tried to protect the Prophet. Some very good Muslims were willing to give up their life in order to protect the Prophet. In the meantime, one of the bad people killed a Muslim that looked really similar to the Prophet. So, he loudly spread the false news of the Prophet's death all over the battlefield. The Muslims at that point were very scared. Some of them started running away from the battlefield, while others became so angry that they started to fight like a lion to honor the Prophet. In a short time, the Sahabas got the news that the Prophet did not die. They became very happy and continued fighting with their full strength. When the Prophet Muhammad saw that there was no possible way for the Muslims to win the war, he ordered all the Muslims to move up to the mountains. The Battle of Uhud was an extremely terrible day for the Muslims. The Muslims were so close to winning the war, but unfortunately when the archers did not follow the simple command of their leader Muhammad wasallam, the entire result of the war changed completely and several great sahabas had to die including the great Hamza peace be upon him. Around 70 Muslims died because of their simple mistake. Among them, there were only four Muhajireen and almost 65 were the Ansar or the Medina's Muslims. But on the other side, only 25 to 35 enemies bad side died. The Quraysh basically won the Battle of Uhud but they were not happy because they could not kill the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. At that moment, all of the Muslims were up in the mountains to protect themselves from the evil people. To kill the Prophet, the bad Quraysh tried going up the mountains, but the Muslims were throwing spears and stopped them. Finally, they decided to return to Mecca. At that moment, that was the biggest blessings for the Muslims and the most biggest mistake for the Quraysh. The Muslims at that point were very weak and if the Quraysh continued to fight, they could have destroyed the Muslims. After the enemies left, the Muslims came out into the battlefield and gave their respect to the dead Muslims of the Uhud. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the highest respect for them as the most holy people or the martyrs. The Prophet ordered to bury them in that battlefield and ordered not to be buried in one mass grave. So only two or three soldiers would be buried together. Even today, we can still see that area next to the mountain of Uhud. When the Prophet saw Hamza peace be upon him's body, the Prophet started to cry. His heart broke for his uncle who protected him from the bad Quraysh and he was gone. For the Muslims it was a really heartbreaking day seeing that their own people had been cut up into pieces. The Prophet's story